And the Oscar goes to... It's a clean sweep. The Lord of the Rings, the return of the king. If you ever needed proof that our technicians and creative talent can compete with the best in the world, you don't need to go any further than this. ...of appreciation to the efforts, enthusiasm and passion of such an incredible group of young New Zealanders that I just felt so elated and so relieved. ...to the Kiwi ingenuity in the number eight fencing wire of Aotearoa. So thank you to you. The Hobbit. Will it stay in New Zealand? Will it go overseas? Hundreds of millions of This movie, up until a month ago, no one had even thought in a million years that this movie was going to leave the country, up until a month ago. And also the government may be looking at legislation to sort out the uh, status of people of contractors within the film industry. Middle Earth is more than just a place. It's a character in the books. I think it's Barlow's on Earth. And I don't think the movies would have been what they were without the amazing New Zealand landscape. We have a place that is creatively driven, but technologically absolutely great. No better casting decision made than the decision to cast New Zealand as Middle Earth. But all around the pure love of filmmaking. As a New Zealand is Middle Earth, and no other country in the world has the same atmosphere. As the love and care that the New Zealand people put into the original trilogy. Fans, New Zealand means something more. It would be like recasting Gandalf when Ian McKellen is available. All the people of New Zealand who are willing to make the best movie possible. It can't be filmed anywhere else on Earth. They're the only ones who really know how to do it. It's already filled with passionate people who care deeply about the project. To Tolkien fans, New Zealand means something more. I tell you from first-hand experience that no place can replicate Middle Earth in the way that New Zealand can. It's just, it's not possible. I'm Yasmin Kudari with Nine Reasons to Keep the Hobbit in New Zealand. Best cinematography, costume design. And as an American fan, I can't imagine The Hobbit filmed anywhere other than New Zealand. New Zealand is an absolutely amazing country and it's, and it's all its own. If you've ever been there and if you've ever seen the films, then you know, you know that it has to be there. It's, there's no other place in the world like it. Sound editing. Art direction, set decoration. And I've spent nearly 10 years of my life chasing down a dream to actually work on The Hobbit. And now, I actually am. And I truly do believe that New Zealand is Middle Earth. Peter Jackson, Richard Taylor, and all the wonderful people there made it Middle Earth. We went it back. Half of the reason why The Lord of the Rings was as amazing as it was is because of the passion and the love that New Zealanders put into Lord of the Rings. And that will be lost if it goes to a different film industry. Makeup, achievement in sound mixing. The spirit of New Zealand should be driving the Hobbit films as well. I went and saw the movies an average of 58 times. Uh, still got my ticket stubs. Uh, uh, each, 58 times each. So please, please, this is so important. Just keep it where it belongs. Let these people finish the job. Give them a chance to do what they love and do best. Create magic in the earth. Editing. Visual effects times three. For no other place on earth has its essence, its people, or director. Best picture. All made in New Zealand on The Lord of the Rings. New Zealand is Middle Earth. If The Hobbit's going to be filmed in 3D, then I want to see New Zealand in 3D. Keep, Keep the, the Hobbit, Hobbit in, in New, New Zealand. Zealand. It's Matthew DiPietro. I'm a film student at California State University in Monterey Bay. Hi, I'm Brian Spencer, a film student in Orem, Utah, United States. My name is Suvi, and I'm a college student majoring in art and currently living in Southern California. I'm Julie Chamberlain, and I'm a student at Pacific Lutheran University in Tacoma, Washington. I'm Sinead, and I'm an aspiring filmmaker and also a massive fan of the Little My name is Kevin Esty, and I'm an animator and previous artist at Weta Digital. And I'm an academic uh, library catalog tech. My name is Adam Dennis. Uh, I'm a 17 year old student. I'm an artist and illustrator. My name is Jimmy Worthington and I go to Emerson College in Boston. My name is Drew Nielsen. I'm a student filmmaker in Brisbane, Australia. My name is Jeffrey Root. I work at Utah Valley University. Yes, I am. I'm a student film producer in the United States. Hi everyone, I'm Justin. I'm a film student in Los Angeles. Hi, my name is Ben Park. I'm a produce guy and an aspiring filmmaker. My name is Robbie Nason. I'm a university student here in Wellington. My name is Dagny. I'm a Norwegian stage manager. Hi, I'm Raleigh and I'm a psychology student. Hi guys, I'm Juana. French My name is Marjorie. I'm a Canadian filmmaker. I'm Roshane. I'm a graphic designer. Hi, I'm Eunice, a student from Germany. I'm Brianna Melvin, and I'm a character animator. My name is Christopher Jacobson, and I'm from Sweden. This is Max from Atlanta, Georgia. I'm Matt. I'm a technician at Weta Workshop. I'm Toby from Germany. 
I'm Leon from Czech Republic. It's Kirk, and I'm a digital arts student assistant. Beatrice, I'm from Rockland. Sophia, Elizabeth. J.W. Braun. Amy Morgan. Jones. Kevin McCarney. Nick Weston. I'm Yasmin Kudari. This is Andrew. Yeah, I'm John. Hey, I'm William. My name is Brian. I'm Fox 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 Fox. 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 So John Key there confirming the Hobbit will save New Zealand. Many developments from that region. and have everyone now full steam ahead on producing these two movies.